Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Hey, this is Mike O'Mara, and this episode is brought to you by Hulu Plus. With Hulu Plus, you get total control to watch thousands of shows wherever you want, whenever you want. Binge on full seasons and watch your favorite current shows like Community, South Park, Saturday Night Live, and more. Right now, my listeners can get an extended free trial of Hulu Plus by going to HuluPlus.com slash Mike. That's HuluPlus.com slash Mike. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOMaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Hey, everybody, it's the Burt Show. No, it's not the oh, Burt Show. What, what are you doing? No, I'll do more on that later. Speaking of morons. Hey, it's the Burt Show. <laughs> hey, how cool am I? I replaced my old boss. Whoa, the Bert Show. I'm sorry. Bert. It's, it's top of mind. There you go. It's hateful. Purge. It's sour grapes. It's everything. You're going to get a dose of that. Hey, Rad Boy. Because I'm... Pa- hey, I'm Rad Boy. You sound local. Are you in D.C.? No, I'm in Atlanta, Diamond. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'll get to that. I will get to that in just a second. Time for birthdays. Yes, let's open up birthdays. the mailbag today. Birthday time. <laughs> hey, can we call them birthdays? Birthdays. <laughs> hey, <laughs> for those of you that have a birthday, make sure you uh, send a Facebook message to Rob Spiewak. And, uh, Rob, can I have a little more headphone level, please? Well, of course, Mike. Uh, let's start with happy belated 14th birthday to Olivia Deal. What's the deal, Olivia? Hey, what's your deal? Hey, this is my deal here, Wade. Yes. Uh, her dad humbly requests a message for her from God. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yes. Now, is that Morgan Freeman God? or No. Is that, is That's that God God. God. That's is... microphone God. Yes. Vocal processing God? Yes. Might be a superhero god. Hello. Hi, God. (laughs) Olivia, it's God. Hey, God, you hit the post. (laughs) Thanks so much. (laughs) Hey, Olivia, just what is your deal? Heart that water. Heart that water. Hey, God, before you go. Yeah. Have you you heard the bird show? (laughs) Hey, man, (laughs) does that suck. You're not a fan? I sure am. Ain't. Uh... So, uh, Olivia's dad, Mr. Deal, yeah. uh, wanted me to say happy birthday. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, God. I know you're busy. God out. Thank you, God. <laughs> the God with his new music bed. Also, warm birthday <laughs> greetings to Sarah Green. We might, have to, we might have to eliminate Sex Boy if we bring God in. Well, I like, I like them both. Warm yeah. birthday greetings to Sarah Green from her husband, David. They are expecting a good Jewish boy. <laughs> At about the same time, uh, Carla and I are going to have our baby. Oh, that's nice. And uh, to Marco Garcia, who listens to TMOS so much that now even his wife is addicted. That's what I like to I hear. I love hearing that. Huh? We spread it. Spread it around. It's, spread it around. We're like going viral, Mike. Good guy Jeremy Boss says, uh, or Jeremy Boss, says his birthday miracle would be to hear... Oscar, talk up an Elvis record. Oh, great. I think this will go good. And Oscar, just so you know, you have a post here at 8, 16, and 25. Did uh, Rob prepare you for this at all? No. Okay. I never do. Because Rob's a friend. Yes, let's jingle into this. WTNT. Hey, now, it's the Big Bopper. Right now, by request, it's Elvis. No one cares and no one's listening. Enjoy. Nothing. Got a little more time there. Boo. That was uh, I hate Elvis. Oscar's talk of a Elvis, ladies Elvis and gentlemen. Elvis sucks. Wow, was that a birthday <laughs> miracle, really? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> On Monday, Bud Smith entered the home stretch of his douchebag 30s, and he wonders what Morgan Freeman, well, there he is. You see, you knew uh, he would be there. Uh, would sound like as a duck boat captain. Ooh. Do you remember the duck boat? As we crawl up the Thames, <laughs> outside you'll see the Prudential Tower. And if you go in in a few miles, you'll see Fenway Park. What a wonderful city Boston is with our duck boats. And hey, you got them in Washington, D.C., too. <laughs> That's right. Drive on land, drive in the water, and use World War II technology to make money in the tourism industry today. Captain Freeman. Hello, Rob. With all this time you spend in the sun, yes. does it bring out the spots on your face? You can never get away <laughs> from the spots on my face. Yeah, we can call you Dottie. Hey, Rob. Yes. You know who my favorite duck boat captain is? Who? <laughs> Andy Dufresne. Oh, he was great. Thank you. Uh, remember the perfect family from our Fort Myers meet and greet? Well, husband Rob Hodson would love to hear a sexy greeting for his wife, Debbie Hodson. Rawr. Yeah. Uh, the sexy greetings have been retired. Okay, so no really? more. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know either. We didn't do them. We should Buzz have, did them. We yeah. should have Jimmy do them. 
Jimmy Cerrito? Yes. <laughs> you have him come in once a week yeah. or for we, one greeting. You could do it as Jimmy. Okay. Because he was there. He met the Hudsons. Okay. He. <laughs> well, he doesn't. Debbie. Oh, that's her name. Yeah. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> Can I climb on? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry. I that's think it. that was a little too close to real life. Red Hot, Red Hot P1, Kate Sullivan Thomas turned another year lovelier yesterday. I can tell Rob's writing these. You're just another year lovelier. That's right. Yeah. Uh, all right, and today is Samantha Dashevsky's big day. Her husband, Alex, said she's a mother, a wife, and an inspiration. Could Bill Clinton please sing her happy birthday? Well, uh, no, I can't. But really? I, but I'd sure like to uh, see that other fellow's wife, Debbie. Oh, yeah. And do what Mike was doing. No, anyway. No, uh, Cade, on. Cade Gerald turns 13 today. Uh, any advice for the young man, Oscar, for the 13-year-old? Oh, now that's dangerous. No! That's very, very, very dangerous. Wrap it up, my friend. Uh, Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not talking about a Sam and Dave record. That's right. You know, and really, if you don't understand that, Cade, uh, wait till you're a few years older, and then uh, I'll put a tip in for that. Bag it. <laughs> Double bag it. Yeah. And don't play, watch with the tip in. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, don't play that game. Thank you. Erin <laughs> Cody turns 27 tomorrow. She's been hooked on TMOS ever since her boyfriend Brian first played it for her over two years ago. We wish her a sincere, a sincere happy birthday. You see, I don't know why the, the boyfriend said she would really appreciate a sincere happy birthday. So, Erin Cody, <laughs> our best. <laughs> Warm wishes from all your friends. <laughs> This weekend, Ben wants us to say happy birthday to Brooke Forbes, who is a listener from way back, so far back, in fact, that she wants a birthday greeting from a pretty girl, Dolores. Yes, yeah, a wow. long time ago. That's an old That's character. Cool. But I would like to say this to Brooke, that for your birthday, I got you a lovely layer cake, <laughs> and I've cut it in half, <laughs> and half, <laughs> then half the game. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> Ken Horn. <laughs> I love that. That was fun. Ken Horn turned 68 this weekend. His sweetie, Kate Matthews, says they both donated to HHA, that's Helping Haitian Angels, and they both enjoyed personal phone calls from Radio's Mike O'Mara. <laughs> He's great. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank them. I, I got to catch up on that. Like, right after it stopped, yeah. they still sort of smatter in a little bit. Mm. Today would be a great day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Finally, Mary Lynn White. Who? Mary Lynn White. White, White says that our traditional birthday song would make this the best birthday ever and would make up for making her burst out laughing during her daily walks and upsetting her neighbors. She says she gets the worst looks. All right. And, uh, okay, let's do the birthday thing for Mary Lynn. Okay. Uh, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday Mary, Lynn. Mary Lynn. Tip in. And we also have an early birthday gift from Mike from Ren Mulberry. Hey! Wait, this is for me? Yeah, it's a, she said it was an early gr uh, birthday gift that also is going to perhaps help you on the ride that's coming up. So she oh, wanted you to open it up now. Cool. Well, my birthday is not nice. for 24 days. <laughs> oh, your birthday is next month? Yeah. This month. June really 22nd. June, yeah. oh. It's Radio's Mike O'Mara, and we won't be on vacation for your birthday. Oh, really? that's right. As so often happens. Yes, uh, June 22nd is my birthday. <laughs> the big 5 -oh? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, no, it's my 34th. Oh. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's not, uh, you'd be your 54th, wouldn't it? Yeah, Rob, thank you. <laughs> I just like to do the math. Jeez, yeah, it would be my 34th. 54th. 54th, sorry. That's great. Hey, what is, uh, what, how do I open this? Well, you can uh, open the card use first. Use your thumbs. This is the card, the opposable ones? <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on a second. Let's see what He knows this all is. about opposition. It says, happy birthday, it's a picture of a guy on a motorcycle. Yeah, because oh, it's for the go. ride. To a badass, oh, if you saw that, well, it's, it's Ustream. To a yeah. badass. Mm. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, you like right. dirty words. Dear Mike, have a great ride and a great birthday. Your gift costs less than a copay. What a bargain. Ren Mulberry. Yeah. Let's see what oh, it very is. Very cool. Yeah. It's and a nice, a nice little, gift bag. She shipped this. A birthday birthday gift. It's always nice to be thought of, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, it is on your birthday. It's so kind. It's a remembrance, really. Yeah. All right, here we go. A vigil. And it's Tag Away Skin Tag Remover. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's The <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. When, when, did, when did you leave? January 21st, 1965. You, you remember that? It's Thursday. Very snowy out. 7.2 inches of snow that day. Is that just after Mom died, New Year's? Yeah, yeah Mom died January 5th, 1965. And you remember that day? You remember that day that you left? Short, short and sudden illness. You remember that day? Yeah. That you left? Yeah. But 
was I there? Where was I? Where, 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 you were in the window. You waved to me. Bye bye, Rain Man. Bye bye, Rain Man. You were the one that sang to me? Yeah. Can I like it when you sang to me? Yeah. Can we sing any other songs? That you like the Beatles? Yeah. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara loves Speedwag, <laughs> Oscar Santana, and now here's Mike. That is, don't think you're any better than me. That is just another series of I, what I like to call clips from movies that are supposed to be horrible, right. that make Rob and Mike laugh. Yeah, you know, and Mike, really, there's a <laughs> valuable lesson to be learned there. It's so and that abnormal. Is, Hot water does burn the baby. It is, and I want you to remember that because you have a little one on the way. <laughs> it's so abnormal. <laughs> Live from Studio One K in the Viperplex Broadcast Center. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. We are downloaded more than eighteen million times, and we are powered by Encore Insurance. We're at MikeO'MaraShow dot com, one hundred two point nine FM WTNT in Washington D.C. and the mighty sixteen thirty KCJJ in Iowa. Uh, today is Thursday, May 30, 2013. Yep. My God, did May fly by! Hey, Mike, where did it go? I have no idea. The show today is brought to you by Avalara. Now, Avalara, is, I want you to listen carefully to this. If okay. you are a small business owner or you work for a business that sells products or services, the tax laws in this country are crazy. They're frightening. They can freak you out. They're always there. They're not going to go away. And Avalara is here to help you. 11,000 taxing jurisdictions in the U.S., and they all have their different little rules. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could go, you could probably spend the, the bulk of the year researching all it's of daunting. these and you individual know laws. And you Avalara have a, does you have a business to run. You don't have time for that. If you sell products or services in more than one place, you need the help that Avalara can provide you. Get it right. And don't have to, uh, you know, don't wait for that uh, that tax bill to come and that fear of penalties and right. interest. Because here's a little something about the IRS and uh, all the local tax jurisdictions as well. They, uh, they kind of... Make you pay, and yes. then they make you pay what you owe on top of that with interest. Oh, yeah. So it's very dangerous. Get it right the first time. If you're a TMOS listener and call today, Avalara is offering a free 60-day trial with no obligation. All you have to do is go to this website, salestaxrescue.com. That's salestaxrescue.com. Get the tax help you need, and uh, they're terrific. They have a phone number as well. It's 800-256-3139. That's 800-256-3139. 3139. If you do this type of work, if you do work for a company or you sell services and goods online, you need their help right. and you might be worrying about it. We want you to stop. Talk to the experts at Avalara today. That number again is 800-256-3139 or go to salestaxrescue.com and we thank you in advance. Thank you. On the show today, we are very pleased, honored to welcome back into the studio our very own Officer Meg. Yay! Yay. Officer Meg, I uh, I saw Officer Meg last weekend, and I said, uh, "Will you come in here and uh, help me promote my ride for the Warriors that's coming up on June eighth? And she graciously agreed. And uh, you also said you were going to bring me paperwork for a ride along today. Uh oh, I will email it to you. Okay, <laughs> you forgot what? Uh, just did you hold it? Did you forget, or did you just think better of it? No, no, I emailed it to myself from the uh, you know county to my personal email, and I just forgot to print it out. So the idea that there is paperwork for this type of uh, thing, I, I would uh, I would imagine you sign your life away. This is yeah. a disclaimer <laughs> that if they you know if, if someone happens. decides to take a machete to me, I'm uh, you know I, you're absolved of all responsibility. I've never really read it, but <laughs> that's good. well. She that's doesn't good. have to. She doesn't sign it. She she's in law enforcement, and they don't like paperwork. For all of us who are not in the know, what is actually involved in a ride along? A ride along is quite simply you ride along with an officer, right? And shotgun. You, you get to yeah. Yep. Oh, you yeah. get. To, I'm accustomed to being in the back yeah. seat. I've only seen the back. Say seat. that again because I missed the uh, the straight line that was uh, served up to me like a softball. Uh, say that again. Honestly. Shotgun. Uh, no, they won't let me carry one. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. Just had to go there for a second. But, uh, you know, yesterday, it's interesting that we have uh, Meg visiting with us today because yesterday, um, you know, it was a very, very one of those difficult days for law enforcement in the D.C. area. Right down the street, uh, Rob loves Costco. My favorite. And right down the street, a, uh, a shooting of uh, apparently a crazy woman, an alleged uh, crazy woman who, uh, who was attacking people or going after people with uh, sharp objects, including scissors. And they, <laughs> they tried to tase her. And then when they didn't succeed in tasing her, and she still represented a, uh, you know, a threat. very dangerous threat, they unfortunately had to, uh, had to shoot her. I want to take a, a moment to thank everyone who thought it was so funny to uh, say, hey, I hope it wasn't your Costco. I hope Sonny's okay. You know what? Sometimes people just take a breath before you run to post on my wall. Maybe it's because I have a lot Sorry. of people, Meg. Yeah, uh, what a jerk. Maybe it's because I, I know a lot of people that are on the job, but uh, you know, when I hear something close to home now, you know, we've had... We've had a good bucket of uh, tragedy right right in the uh, in the area here, the Manassas area, Fairfax County. Uh, you know, with, with with people just going nuts, kind of losing it. Yeah. It kind of seems like uh, it's it's our mo around here that we uh, you know out here in the burbs of D.C. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, the, in in D.C. they got the regular crooks, you know, and you're oh, going to yeah. get shootings there all the time. But the they're fact hard is, boiled, Mike. Out here in the burbs, it just seems that more often than not, it's people that uh, kind of go off the deep end and. I know that when you're in uh, law enforcement, and you, you know, if you don't want to talk about any of this, you know, just say I really don't feel comfortable about it. The greatest fear I would think uh, from all the shows that I've watched, the reality police shows, is the fear of domestic altercations. Is that your opinion too? That if if there's going to be a, a a dangerous element out there, it's responding to that kind of call. Traffic stops, domestics, and mentals. Yeah, mentals mm-hmm. being yeah. Uh, somebody like the the lady at Costco. Yeah, EDPs, emotionally disturbed people. It's um, how do I explain? They're almost like animals. You can't mm-hmm. tell when they're going to bite, right? Because they're so messed up in the head where you just can't predict their actions. Most of the time, I don't want to say I can predict people's actions, but you know they'll either go one way or another. But mentals, they just you know their chemical imbalance is just making them act. Nuts, they don't have the same tells no. as a normal person. No. Yeah. And it's unpredictable. And you can yes. be uh, just quietly leading somebody maybe to the back of your cruiser and bingo, somebody snaps and, and decides to go crazy. Uh, you know, details still coming out. Let me uh, let me explain to the rest of our listeners around the country what we're talking about here. Uh, yesterday, the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office began uh, asking the public to call uh, and say and ask people if they witnessed a uh, Sterling Virginia Costco fatal shooting, uh, and they wanted to get people that hadn't been interviewed. If people had left right. that Costco, this is not my Costco. Uh, this is up the street. From the me. lady's name um, was Mai. I think it's M H A I. Would that be Mai? I would think so. Mai Scott, uh, thirty-eight. She was the suspect that was reported to be wielding a knife and scissors and threatening store employees that prompted the call for law enforcement assistance one officer attempted to utilize a taser gun but the county issued non-lethal uh, suspect subduing weapon did not stop scott after it was deployed and that resulted in the second officer firing at her multiple times in order to protect those in danger around her one deputy sustained injuries during the altercation with the suspect and while he was taken to the hospital for treatment he has since been released Thank God for that. Good. That was the first, uh, you know, when you hear that, you you know, you get very, very concerned. And initial reports are always so scary because it comes out so you don't tragic. know what right. the hell is happening. Uh, so they're they're asking for people that uh, witnessed this because it was a fatal shooting to uh, call in. But uh, it's standard procedure for a state law enforcement agency uh, like the state police to assist in the investigation. So I think they wanted to make it clear yeah. in this report that they're not necessarily indicating that there was bad behavior on the part of the officers. And also, this was a, not a Costco employee, it's a contracted employee. It's one of the ladies handing out samples. So oh, the next wow. time that you go, God, that's amazing. You know, when she was handing out pizza, and Meg, didn't you say that she appeared to be dissatisfied <laughs> with the pizza? That's what the report said. It said that she wasn't happy with the pizza samples. Wow. But I always, that's just more reason to say please and thank you. Mm. You know, Meg, maybe you can uh, back me up on this, but I've always thought this because. I've had uh, moments or two with road rage where you just drive along and somebody cuts you off and you flip them off, you get mad. I, I really do. Somebody once told me you just have to bump in to that individual that needed one more thing to go wrong. Yeah, you got to. You could be the straw. And, yeah. and you know, when you realize the millions of people that are in our metro area. And then think about the worst day you've ever had around here. Think about it. And a then, really crummy day. A really crappy day. Yeah. And then probably add, today. And then <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> then add one more layer to that. 
And you just got to be careful. I mean, you never know. It could be at 6 o'clock in the morning. It could be at 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. You never know what's going to happen. Well, right? Oscar just experienced yeah. that like last Remember week. Remember the guy tried it? to rip my uh, car door open because I honked at him? Right. That's right. Because and and you, I looked at him like, oh, someone's having a bad day. Yeah, because you, you casually did that and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, well, it's my fault because I honked at him. Yeah. Right. That's what everyone in my in my uh, my immediate family says. Why, do you, why are you honking at people? I said... Because there was a school bus there. Am I supposed to sit here and watch them mow down kids? Uh, it's got to be, I would imagine, for the uh, the sheriff that was uh, responsible for for this shooting, the guy that dis discharged his weapon. Got to be a pretty horrible experience, you know, because really no choice. Uh, you, you know, you're you're you've got somebody who's uh, you know threatening people with a knife. There, there, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Right. You got to make a quick call. It's got to be extremely stress inducing. I know you've been around uh, officers for for a very long time. That's a tough situation. I'm sure it is. It hasn't happened to me personally, but right. I, I can tell you that my department, um, and I'm sure Loudoun County as well, provides a lot of aftercare for these people. And right. there is actually seminars um, because once you've been in a shooting, you're actually more likely to be in another one. Right. But I know like when you get in that moment, you're not thinking about anything but yeah. you know taking care of and it. And you're training. Yeah. Let me ask you this. You say you've never been involved in the situation, but I know you've obviously been trained for it and you've probably talked to people who have. How common is it for a taser to not work oh very common because um tasers have like two different uh systems essentially they shoot darts out right so the two darts actually have to touch or go into that person have to make to a complete skin, cycle yeah. so mm -hmm. if they go if you even get like say a thick denim where they don't penetrate a thick denim yeah like buffy, puppy coats in the winter and that's stuff, not gonna work okay. it won't it actually has it's a circuit so if you think about a circuit like you know um a full circuit sure. like yes. battery and right. stuff like that it right. has to make a full circuit um if not you're going to be doing the drive stun which is um, actually touching the taser to the person which completes that circuit. Okay. So, and if, if a you, person's wielding a knife, you're not going to get close enough to be able to do that. No, because those that, darts shoot out pretty far. Um, right. But they shoot out at an angle. So, I mean, if if you shoot it wrong, I mean, there's a, there's a laser on it, so you have a, a target because you don't have, like, sights on the taser or anything like right. that. But um, if you don't, if you miss... You're you're kind of screwed. If anybody wants an example of what that looks like, I uh, would recommend the Hangover. Yeah. <laughs> in the face, in the face. Have you seen that movie? Yes. Oh man, it's like neat right yeah. there in the. Uh, so uh, it's just uh, it's crazy. And then uh, you were saying uh, right before the show started, uh, another another shooting down in uh, D.C. happened. I didn't. I'm not even up on that one yet because they happen too frequently around yes. here. It's craziness, right? Well, within an hour, they had posted it on Facebook um, about, you know, that's basically where I get my news from because I don't like to watch the news just because I see crap every day. Right. right. Um, within an hour, they had posted that D.C., another, a D.C. officer had been grazed. And, of course, I hit up Jerky and he said everybody was everybody was good to go. And um, I guess that that officer or whoever was there, they got in a shootout and, and killed that that guy. Here's a whacked out theory. Does, does that have anything to do with temperature? I mean, the, you know, the, the, Do you the, think you, yesterday was, was the first legitimate dog day that we had, mm -hmm. the first really hot day that we had in D.C. There's a, a history in movies of crime sprees and stuff happening in the dead of summer. Do you think there's a relationship to hot weather and short tempers? Um, I, I don't know. I, I deal with nuts every day, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, you, Rob, you have your cold weather nuts, <laughs> and you have your hot weather nuts. These are delicious, well. warm weather nuts, Well, Mike. they're more, they're mo more mobile in, in the summer because they're not having to bunk, hunker down a lot of them are homeless okay. so i mean they're not you know having to hunker down and stay warm you know they can walk around all day and all night and be comfortable now a lot of my uh, on the job friends a lot of my friends in law enforcement mm -hmm. have uh, extended the invitation that meg has also extended me uh this is the first time i'm going to take someone up on this oh, I, oh, really? you know yeah. what? I, I don't want to disparage my fellow officer friends here because <laughs> i mean the fact is i i like you all but there's something about Meg that I just know that Meg would take care of me if anything really happened, and I started to, you know, just act like little baby, little I've baby heard, boy. Help, Meg! Let's drive away. I've heard you get these <laughs> offers literally for 20 years. I have gotten them forever, and uh, well, most of them come from Jerky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't just, ride with him. He's just looking for company. <laughs> I wouldn't ride with him. I know, jerky with it. I've I seen know. too many. Uh, you know, I've heard too many of Jerky's stories. Can I come along? Uh, I can be the perp. What the is back. the? I, you want to ride along the same? Day, you, you, by the way, it's, it's not going to be like playing a role, Oscar. No. You know? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got a great idea. If Oscar comes along and he rides in the back, it will be exactly like playing a role. 
<laughs> You'll fit in with my. Uh, yeah. He'll look like he belongs in the yeah, back I of the cruiser. So. I could be. I could be undercover. So when you actually pick someone up, one, I could talk to them in Spanish. Oh, you can translate honest. for me. And then two, I'll be like, yeah, you know, they they got me for uh, what murder is, one. What is and the protocol? What, uh, right around from your uh, your bosses. What I mean, or the 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 rules. I mean, there obviously is a playbook for this. What is the protocol for two people coming along on a ride along? Um, we'll have to ride with somebody else. Uh, you guys have to fill out the forms. We have to make sure that you're not like a criminal or anything. And so, so could he, you put him on Mike's lap? Any chance of all? So he'd go in another lap. car. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's do it on and the it same has, night. Yeah, let's do it. do it on the same I'll shift. It has to be approved, which I'm sure I'm hoping it will be. <laughs> it <laughs> it will be like, be. hi, this is uh, Michael pass. O'Mara. Yes, um, yeah. right. But yeah, Schmosker I mean, Fantana. Steve, no record. Steve's ridden with me. A bunch of people have ridden with me. It's fun, and we'll get some really good Peruvian chicken. We have a staple <laughs> in in. Uh, Falls Church that we I go see. to. That'd be great. <laughs> I see the way you roll, Officer Meg. We'll, we'll let you ride around with uh, the, the person that works Colmore. Thank That'd you. be good. Yeah, Oscar, <laughs> we'll get you some food from Mexico, and Mike, <laughs> we'll get you some whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about it, and uh, that'll be fun. How uh, I don't want to horn in though. No, I, okay. I think I if you're going to be going in a separate cruise, yeah. not like you have will already. We be, will, yeah. we, we're, will our paths be able to cross if he's in another cruiser? It's possible. Um, I work in one area that right. normally doesn't cross paths with, but I'm gonna put him in Bailey's. Uh, whatever that means. <laughs> Bailey's Crossroads. Bailey's Crossroads. <laughs> oh, I know what that means. Yeah, yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, drop in and see my dad. He no, lives I think my there. uncle lives there. Now, uh, <laughs> how many? You probably know him. <laughs> what should we before this happens? Uh, you know, and uh, if it gets approved, and yes. I really hope it does, what are some things uh, we're gonna need? Should I wear a vest? Uh, no. Yes, and Unless, no shirt. If you have one? <laughs> no, but if we I, don't provide them. I could. Bo- we should borrow vests. I, you, Do you mean a bulletproof vest? We Let should me explain. Lo- we should look like we're officers. Okay. No, 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 oh, no. no. You, you're oh, familiar with uh, baseball umpires. You are so dumb. You know baseball umpires <laughs> that are behind home plate that might be of a larger carriage. Yes. Okay. You know what those guys look like? <laughs> yes. Okay. Picture me in that vest. <laughs> I, wow. I seriously, I look like the effing Michelin man. <laughs> Mike is gonna show up, and, and I look like that without a vest. I'll pad. give you a girl vest, Oscar, so you can have a uniboob. <laughs> no, there's, there's a great shot, Mike, of you wearing a vest in the uh, store that we went to at South of the Border, right? And, and it looks just like how you're describing. Yeah, I, the vest. I even when I when my uh, my overweight status fluctuates to the low end of mm-hmm. overweight. I am still, vests are not my friend. The O'Mara family have barrel chests, all of us. We have ridiculous midsections, and uh, therefore it's very uncomfortable. Now, you know who wore a lot me. of vests? Who's that? Curly Howard. Yes. Yeah. It's, <laughs> the tight were, ones that would look silly on. Yeah, and they tend to look silly. Right. So yeah. we don't need one? We don't need a vest? If you want to wear one, you can, but. I don't want to. I'll wear no. one. Just in you case. have one? I, I, I I'm sure I could find one. Yeah, I'm sure. But you, you could. can't wear anything that says like police. No, on no. I'm just. Have you ever seen uh, Street Kings with Keanu Reeves? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that? Movie? That's a movie like eleven people saw in theater. Well, like, I, I don't I'm think a... it's a good idea to ride on the same night as Oscar because really? he's going to do something that's not only going to endanger himself, <laughs> no, it... but all of Northern no, Virginia. I'm a he professional. Would be, he's a professional method what? actor. I can communicate with Oscar, and I can tell him to be on his best behavior. Yes. I can make sure that I tell him. The I'm going to look history. cool. He's going right. to, when that really is what matters, yeah. isn't it? He's going to be like running all around black. in a bulletproof vest. Um, I, I think you should, and I think yeah. it would be interesting. And then we could come in here and we could compare notes. Yeah. Camo, and, camo and paint. It would be fantastic. I think it would be a wonderful idea for you to, uh, to join me for the, the ride. Can Thank we, you. So can we process the paperwork sure. with him as well? Yeah. And, I'll uh, be good. Can and he I'll, wear I'll, mirrored sunglasses? No, no, no. <laughs> Aviators don't look good on me. What? Uh, so, uh, do I most of the time? Do I just stay put in the car? No, you can come out and you go inside with me and uh, you know do whatever I do. <gasps> if it's something that's, that's bad, I'll have you sit in the car until I tell you you can come in. Okay, all right. But if it's something it's, that you think is really yeah, potentially I mean, hazardous, you're don't, gonna you're gonna see a lot of interesting things. Really? Oh, good. Don't style a marijuana and la cocaína. <laughs> See, I'm already. Uh, I gotta ask that question and work it out. Uh, uh, what is? How do you I'm say? I'm gonna use you if you come. <laughs> in Spanish, how do you say? Why is that retard wearing a bulletproof vest? <laughs> I don't want to say that. Well, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You just have to dress That's appropriately, mean. though. Hey, when we come back, we're gonna talk about the uh, ride for the warriors that Meg is participating in, and Meg had just a an amazingly uh, successful ride yeah. for the Officer Down Memorial page. We'll talk about that and uh, motorcycles and lots more fun, and also. It's yard sale time. Oh, good. Yes. I love yard sale yeah. time. Well, it's the train festival oh, in oh. Manassas. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> before we uh, take this break, I do want to share with you uh, today's Raw moment for oh, Spring, Break, Spring Break uh, Raw 2013. Uh, Rob has put a lot of time and care 
uh, into these audio tapes. Mark has done a wonderful job with the video, which uh, you will get for F R E E if no you charge. buy all three of our Raw series. And uh, today we've got a very special Raw moment. This right? comes from the towards the end of the trip, Mike, and I would call us crispy. And this is uh, in the latter part of the last day of the trip. Let's go to the tape. The Mike O'Mara Show's Raw Spring Break 2013. When you'll hear Mike O'Mara say... Now that we have gotten fuel here, yes. and it's uh, 12 o'clock, not the aforementioned 115, right. are we going for it? No no stops for any, any food. We're just going to keep rolling. I don't care if I shit my pants. We're going to your house. <laughs> so long, everybody. <laughs> And uh, whether or not I do that, you have to buy the tape. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. This segment is brought to you by Hulu Plus. Oh, they're everybody. great, buddy. I want to thank everybody that's reached out to me and uh, told me how wonderful Hulu Plus is for them. You've tried streaming hit shows on your PC. Now it's time to start your free trial exclusive content in your living room on your mobile device with Hulu Plus. We're talking about TVs, game consoles, Blu-rays, Apple TV, or your smartphone or tablet. With Hulu Plus, you get your favorite content anywhere, full seasons of your favorite shows, and even full seasons of classic TV shows. You wouldn't believe what I found yesterday. What did you find? Not available on DVD. Right. Not available online. The 1984-85 season of Saturday Night Live that had Billy Crystal and uh, Martin Short, one is of that my where, favorite seasons of all time. Is that where Billy Crystal is Sammy Davis Jr.? Yes, and you look marvelous, <laughs> and Ed Grimley. I've been looking for this for years, literally years. My tapes have worn out. They've got it on Hulu. Also, Dick Van Dyke, Rockford Files, Groucho Marx, everything, black and white color. It was like an amusement park looking around in there. Now, Hulu Plus used to be for the computer. I mean, Hulu used to be for the computer. Right. Hulu Plus is for all the things I mentioned. Yeah. So you can get it anywhere. You can get it on demand. Entertainment, especially our video entertainment, we are in a world now where you want to have it at your fingertips and you want to get it whenever you want it. That's what Hulu Plus does. I honestly was watching three different things, one on my TV, one on my tablet, one on my phone, just because I could. You're a believer. I love it. Right now, Michael Mara Show listeners can get an extended free trial just click the hulu plus link at mikeomerashow.com or go to huluplus.com slash mike now remember that because it's not the usual code mm -hmm. we use it's m-i-k-e that's huluplus.com slash mike control what you want to watch when you want to watch it the list is endless with hulu plus and uh, drop me a line and let me know how it's working for you it's I'd amazing hear about stuff. that okay uh we want to talk about all the good stuff that's happening uh, with the ride coming up uh starting to get a little excited about it we're uh, about a week away from uh, the big ride for the Warriors coming up, and uh, your your ride uh, that raised a tremendous amount of money for the Officer Down Memorial page was really an amazing success. Oh, I'm glad you guys came out. Thank it you very much. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Thank you. As and a matter of fact, on uh, Tuesday of this week, Mike and I both wore your T-shirt, and we looked like flaming queens because we, we matched. Did. It was great. The tan one, you know, <laughs> the tan one in the, in the big sizes. Uh, <laughs> So th this is the way it works. Um, uh, John Murphy with the Harley Owners Group is uh, is helping me with this ride, and uh, also uh, we have uh, we determined a while back that hmm, Meg has like the most successful ride in the world. Right. So <laughs> what we're going to do is steal every idea from her. Now there are shades of difference. Borrow, but, but we're going to borrow. Well, steal. Well, wow. this is what we've done yes. ever since we started the podcast. Steal the the idea. The thing that I've I've talked about the ride, but I've really not spent a, a good amount of time letting you know what it's all about. Uh, this is the ride for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. This is a uh, a group that helps our first responders of the military. We're talking about the special ops mm -hmm. guys. The uh, Navy SEALs are a great example. Those are the Everybody knows about the SEALs based on the Osama bin Laden operation. These are first guys in, and these are guys that uh, catch a lot of flack. And when I say flack, I mean it. Uh, they get killed. They get wounded. They leave families behind like any other veteran, but... It was made, uh, a, I was made aware of the fact that the special operations guys and this particular organization needs a little extra attention because you just don't hear a lot about it. The nature of what they do is intelligence. So you're not going to hear these guys. You're not going to hear a lot about right. them. Uh, and, and before really the Osama bin Laden operation, you didn't hear anything about them. Yep. But they have the same needs that other veterans have. And what I love about this special operations warrior foundation, it is a group that specifies uh, education. They focus on education. So 
For example, if, God forbid, one of these individuals is killed in the line of duty, the uh, Special Operations Warrior Foundation will pay for the family's education, the sons, the daughters. They also offer free educational counseling to family members of Special Ops guys. Oh, wow. It's really uh, focused on education, and I like that. And then if somebody is uh, wounded in combat, in a combat situation, it's direct financial assistance. So it's a three-prong right. organization that works with these uh, these wonderful warriors, these heroes, uh, as I like to call them, the first responders, the first guys in, the guys that set the table for everybody else in the military, and they go in. And we are just going to have a fantastic time on Saturday morning, June 8th, where uh, we all get together. And really, those rides, Meg, uh, there, there's, just, uh, there's such a feeling of camaraderie and unity uh, with a bunch of people that are just doing doing good for for another group of people which is why bikers love to raise money for people yeah they're very bikers have huge hearts and huge pockets i mean they love to do charity stuff and i love being a part of everything all the rides that, that go on and you know it's just it's a it's an immaculate it's a thing that we do I mean, if you think about it, who else does so many rides to raise money for, for all these charities? Bikers raise more money for charities than uh, any group in the in the country. And this is a great organization in this area in particular, the Washington, D.C. Right. area. You know, with Rolling Thunder uh, just passed, we, uh, we actually are so excited about being close to that because I get a chance to chat with a lot of my biker friends before I have my ride. And then Meg's is uh, right before Rolling Thunder. So it's a nice little bookend situation. And uh, these are kind of three big rides. Uh, you know, also the Law Ride, which is a... A uh, wonderful ride I participated in for the first time. This is uh, this is going to be a great day. Starts uh, at Patriot Harley Davidson. My friend Lyndon Abel and Bob DeHaven out of Patriot have been uh, generous enough to support us and give us that great parking lot to stage our ride. Perfect. So it starts there. We want bikes in the parking lot at eight o'clock in the morning. Then uh, we'll roll out around ten a.m. Mm-hmm. A beautiful ride that John Murphy has designed for us throughout the uh, Northern Virginia countryside, and uh, and then uh, we end up at Jimmy's. Old Town Tavern. How many times have you started a story that involves the phrase, we end up at Jimmy's? We end up at Jimmy's, but we really do this. We do. (laughs) By design. Planned. But really, when you're talking about the sheer value of this, we're going to have a raffle where we're going to have great swag from Patriot Harley-Davidson, from uh, Colgan Power Sports. Television, right? We're going to have a television that we're going to raffle off. So not only do we want you to make that donation of $20, which gets you the T-shirt, Uh, If you pre-register, you get a free T-shirt. It also will uh, get you an incredible all-you-can-eat buffet at Jimmy's at the end of the ride. Such good food. And yeah, that's really, great. that's one of the parts of my ride that I actually really, really love is uh, the great food at Jimmy's. He knows how to do it. He yep. sets us up in the award alley. Award winning. You know, all on June 8th. And uh, <laughs> why did you say award I, winning? Because he's a judge. Why did you say that? You're being a hump. No. Mike, no. Are you slamming you, Jimmy? No, no, no. It's James Beard recognized wonderful food <laughs> from no. Jimmy's Old Town Tavern. It's my favorite place to go. Best swings. They have great He's honest. award winning. Yep. Oh, I, I guess you're right. I, yeah, I, Everyone thinks I'm a jerk. Uh, Barbara Wow. Well, yeah. hold on. <laughs> Barbecue wings Jerks. are on the menu for the all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, yes. Fantastic. So you can go to Jimmy's. You pay your $20. I swear to God. I'll, I'll, I always pay. I know you do. And I will get uh, I'll get you I will get Most you your time. own plate of barbecue wings. Thank you. Will you, you feed him? With you, no. I, well, I don't know. I've got to pace driving. myself because that is also the day of my oldest daughter's yeah. high school graduation. Yeah. So for anyone wondering whether I'll be a wreck that day, because it is stressful. Use a different right? word. It's a, it's a str- <laughs> I started drinking at 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were drinking when I got there. Shh. <laughs> I remember. I will not simply because I've got to go to the graduation. Yeah. Mike, I'll take and one for the team. Thank you very much. But I will you replace? But pace yourself. Will you, you replace the craving for food with big stacks of food, uh, for alcohol with food? Food? Yeah, will you eat? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bon, bon, bon. But I'm not sure I want to do, you know, I don't, I don't want to like have. And you'll l- change clothes before the graduation. Oh, I'm going to even shower before the graduation. Oh, are you wow. going to wear your boss hog suit? No, I am not going to wear my boss. <laughs> you mean like my biker suit? No, I mean the like white. Like a white suit? The white suit you have. What white suit? Didn't you go as Boss Hog one time for Halloween? You kept that suit. What are you even talking about? I don't know what you what, what, what kind when of you crack are, when were you, you smoking when, when you were doing the show with Kirk. The, yeah, the more for the morning Halloween, show. you dressed up like Colonel Sanders, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, and I said you look like Boss Hog. Oh, because Boss Hogg from the Dukes of Hazard yeah. wore a white suit, white tie, Where white Where did we go? Where did we? Was it a Halloween party? It was I a Halloween it was. party. It was a Halloween yeah, party. Yeah, I used to listen to your morning show. I think I threw How it away. How do I know that? 
<laughs> and you I, don't. I, Why would you throw it away? I would think it would be a great mover at the Mike O'Mara yard sale. <laughs> oh, God, no, stop it. Stop it. You know what he complains about? We got too many things going on. I know, but you this, teased it. This is the perfect storm of those things. And I'm I know. sorry. I know I teased that we're having I can't I can't burden my listeners with too many things. I understand. Let's take care you of You are the, not the burdener. Let's take care of the charity and then we will take care of ourselves. Jesus Christ. June 8th. June 8th. Ride for the Warriors. Meg, you going to be there? Of course. Some of your fellow awesome. officers of going to be there? I'm helping out. Uh, the Harley Owners Group's going to be there? Yes. And uh, these boys are all going to be Hell yeah. spinning Different records and everything. Rob's yeah. going to be spinning records. Yeah. It's going to be a great day. We've got to take awesome. a break. We will come back and uh, talk about a Todd Moore dating update because <laughs> Meg's got some thoughts on Todd when we come back. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by the Mangrate Grill Enhancement System. Father's Day is coming fast. Your dad needs Mangrates. They're made in America. 100% American cast iron. Steak, chicken, and veggies never tasted so good because Mangrates sear your food to seal in the juices. Mm. No flare-ups, no dry meat, guaranteed. Mangrates bring steakhouse quality to your house. Named one of the best grilling accessories by Men's Health Magazine, Mangrates make the perfect Father's Day gift. Get Mangrates for your dad or yourself. Click their ad on our website or go to mangrate.com. Enter the code TMOS and you get our special. Special price, nineteen ninety nine, and a custom grill brush. Greatest grill brush ever. And, Mike, I don't know if you remember this, but last Halloween, yep. you got a tremendous stain on your boss hog suit. <laughs> and the, the grill brush was able to remove the oh, stain lick it, Rob. and anyway. make it look better than before. <laughs> All right. Get Great your, grill brush. Get your man great today. And, and, Mike, special thanks to Man Great because they are going to help support the T-shirts that we're giving away. Oh, yeah. oh fantastic. Isn't Evan a good guy? Evan the best. is a good guy. Yes. Uh, and uh, oh, I can't wait to look at the design yeah i have something for you to see yeah that is awesome and uh, really thanks to evan and everybody at mangrates for doing family let's uh let's raise a ton of money for the wounded warriors foundation i am excited about that uh when the show is just about to begin uh the question that officer meg asked oscar santana about todd moore and i remember it oh she said to you oscar is he really like that (laughs) for those of you that might have missed it on monday yeah tuesday on tuesday it's a weekend it's a holiday holiday week it's a shortened holiday week Oscar. on tuesday we debuted the fact that uh Todd Moore, one of my best friends, is now looking for love, hopefully in all the right places, instead of all the wrong places. And he came on the show, and he really gave his hit list of what he would like in his potential mate. I'm going to stop you right there. He's a douche. Oh, no. oh, oh God. No. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Well, oh, oh, douche. Let's get to that. Now, I don't think he's a douche. When we, when we, when we, he's honest. When we finished, hold on. He's honestly. Wait, wait, <laughs> now stop. I didn't say it. Don't you pile on. Why, have I ever? Right now, technically, oh. it's bad enough for him right now. All right. And the greatest love <laughs> when you, my feeling, and I want you to be honest here. Okay. When the segment was over, mm-hmm. and I just, this I like having him in. I didn't pre read what he was going right. to want with his requirements and all that. I legitimately said, hey, come on in. We'll see if we can get you hooked up with a woman. I got the impression at the end of that segment that both Todd and you legitimately thought that it might go better than it did. And 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 because of that, I just want to ask this question. Did you really think that, that like, going into it that, uh, hey, this is going to be both funny and it's not going to piss anybody off and it's going to be a okay well because you're the professional broadcaster yes you have to think those six steps ahead right todd does it todd was disappointed well todd was beaten down well i actually and i know he was disappointed because he went home and listened to the show yes and 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 really you he went home to listen to to see how bad it was for him right and I said, Todd, it's not that bad. And it's it not was, bad for us. It was. It was, it was ex- bad. It was extremely. Oh, it was horrible. Wow. It was. Ex- it was entertaining. It was wonderful no, for the listener. It? it was hot. Well, it was entertaining for yes. me. I had a blast. And I think it was entertaining for our listeners. Uh, did you? Well, what was his impression after he listened to the show? So I don't think his impression really changed from our initial gut feeling because you know when you walk out of, let's say, an interview or a bad date. <laughs> yeah. You know how you feel. Okay. Here, I want to stop you okay. right there. Okay. In the name of God, how? Did he think it was going to go with that list? Because, you know, he gave me the list to read. There's no way that's going to come across as positive. As someone who was actually in the room and watched the thing go down. (laughs) 
the thing. The, 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 the Talk More segment that will henceforth be referred to as The Thing. What was great about The Thing, and I loved The Thing, is that Todd changed because it was almost like someone <laughs> who... Picture, if you will, a Roadrunner cartoon. Okay? <laughs> And Wile E. Coyote has the Acme bat suit, and he jumps off the cliff. And when he jumps off the cliff, he has every inclination. He's positive that he's going to fly and catch that roadrunner. That was Todd at the beginning of the thing. Todd was sitting bolt upright. Yeah, he was. He was listening to everything. About halfway right. through, the wings came off the costume, yes. and Todd started to do this. <laughs> yeah. He's sliding well, down he into his down. chair. But he became, what happened is, I think he went into it with strong optimism and a good attitude. He was but happy. when he heard oh, it out loud, he left right. when he heard it out loud and saw us reacting to it, he began to realize that this was a tremendous okay. misstep. Now, listen, not that I like Todd, and I like hanging out with Todd. I and do he's, too. And he's, and, and he's for very this, tall. And he's Oscar's best buddy in the whole wide world. Uh, the simple reason for this disaster the thing we there's no one in this room that's responsible there was no spinning that went on no this was the man himself and what he put out there you could not he put himself in a no-win situation that way no i think that while all those requirements are a fact like I, we've had private conversations about let me that. stop he you right there. The requirements but there's the, your problem that's i think thank you meg that is what i'm going to say Having required, you can't. This do is the it. best day to have a lady in the studio. You, it, Meg, what? Uh, we need a woman's pr perspective. We do. Right. And, and he's a know. better man than what so, he sounded like on that show. He'd almost right. have to be. But it, you know, he screwed of himself. Course, of course, <laughs> <laughs> jerks. I mean, seriously. <laughs> That's Rob that said that. Yeah, I heard that. that. Rob, Rob likes it when the body's down there uh, like that. I'm, I, I was praising him. It was bad. It, 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 <laughs> now, now, Meg, Meg, with all due respect, I, I, there, we have to separate two things here. We have the entertaining show over here, which I thought it was. Oh, that was great. And then we have the Dodd part that just having the list of a requirements. Female perspective. That's that's a bit off putting, correct? Oh, it, I mean, I, okay, so I listened to you guys when I'm in my cruiser. I was at work. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I'm How did you measure around. up to his requirements, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I just who, who measures up to his requirements? That's why he's single. <laughs> yeah. There's one guy there is one person on planet Earth that will always measure up to okay, Todd so and Oscar, Oscar Santana. 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 Well, yeah. okay. <laughs> Oh. But you don't have I, double D's. No, 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 I don't. No, but he said C to double D. That's right. That's a range. R ridiculous. Like, I mean, I, so I sat there and listened to it, and I was like, man, what would I put on a list? And then I was like, I can't be that much of a douchebag like him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you're not coming on looking for a mate. And in his defense, when you go on Match.com or eHarmony, you have to list what you're into. Okay. All so right. he probably is used to that format where you check off boxes might have that looked, you're into. It might look better in print. Mm -hmm. Than it does being read. Well, yeah, and he just sounded so cocky and arrogant. <laughs> oh, I don't know that he sounded arrogant. <laughs> oh no, oh, you. Oh, okay. This is a, this is live radio. It was bad. We tape it, but it's live. It folks. is live tape. Uh, I, I, Meg, I, Meg, let's 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 do this. Okay. Because Todd's a friend. <laughs> And, and because I want to, <laughs> because you've never met the guy, and I and I want to help him. What would you? A po, how about some positive some advice? Some, some positive criticism, yeah. some constructive criticism. How would you? Uh, what would you tell? How can Todd uh, save this situation? Exactly, save is what we want to right. do. <laughs> save because you know otherwise it's going to be really awkward when he sets up his booth at the ride on June eighth. <laughs> He's, he's kissing booth. <laughs> he's gonna be known as that guy from now on. Like, I mean, yeah. he's like the the on the Bachelor or whoever, you know, the guy that went on twice. He's that guy now. Yeah. Like, you know, he, he's he, the Richard Hatch. But it, it's one the of the thing is, he's a nicer guy. He's one of the nicest. He really is sweetest guys you'd ever want to meet. In person, I think. Yes. Okay, so he just needs to go online and buy somebody because you know you can do that. <laughs> oh, no. because then they can fit all of his requirements. That's what I was sitting in my cruiser. I'm like, he he's not going to find all of these, you know, A through Z. He has to go online and what, what is that like that uh, sugar mamas like. Cougarlife.com. You know, can I just Cougar say, you know, we've, buy we've had Officer Meg on the show twice. Best appearance ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, and and you know, bit. Todd is yeah. sweet, and he is a genuinely nice guy and fun to be with, but he seems to have bad luck on this show. Because he, before, he was known as the guy that can't get his wings right. Hey, and now that's like not even a misdemeanor. Listen, I what, what I like about Meg, I also like about Todd. There, there's, uh, there's one thing. I, I've never said this to you personally. I'll say this to you. No, I'm going to say this to you personally uh, right here on the show. The thing that I like about the, the quality that I admire in both of you is honesty. Oh, yes. yes. Both of you, uh, you know, but uh, I you don't think fake it. I don't want to date him. I'm just saying. I know. No, I know. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to set well, that up. because you're a lesbian. I'm oh, not going right. to stop what? it. What is that about? <laughs> that is not. Stop he, that. He's getting mad. I didn't even bring 
it up. I didn't bring it up He's this time. He's getting upset. He yeah. is. He's... Well, you're talking about my best friend. But, I, but we're not. But I, and I, and I, I'm not mad at I just tonight. I just got done saying that he's a, he's a, he's a lovely, sweet guy. But that's Meg has the listener's perspective, especially the female, single female right. listener's and, and perspective. I agree on with her. She's absolutely right. Right. I think that he misrepresented himself because... When you're filling out that form on Match.com in your private time, it's just you and yourself. And it's a computer screen, yes. and it's much more clinical. When yeah. you come on a show like this, you can't do that. And uh, I, he's well, just used to taking that surgical approach to life. He's a, he's he's kind he, of a genius. I mean, he's a genius, and he's a clinic, you know? he's yeah. kind, he's a mathematician. Yes, and he's a computer guy. And that's it. Would he now? Listen, I, Todd has an open policy, an open yeah. invitation, which. Uh, which Meg just earned about five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the th so I've got two people now that have an open invitation to come on this show. The fact is, Todd, I would love Todd yes. to get a complete do over, to get a complete do over where he just comes in and you know what? Appropriate. He's got to do this. Yeah. He's got to go to the heart. Up. Well, he's got to talk about. And he's got to do this. He's got to have a few cocktails. Oh, I, I didn't know what he was indicating with that hand gesture. <laughs> oh, no, no, like that. <laughs> Jerks. Can I propose something? Yeah. No. Can I ask him questions? A oh. woman asking oh, him questions. Oh, wow. That because is. Oh, that smells a room, like a bonus show he's to me. He's in a room full of dudes, so he's got to act all cool, you know? That's right. true. Yeah. Like, right. she's got to have double Ds, you okay. know? No, yeah. that is brilliant. And, uh, that is an, a, a brilliant so, idea. I think that would be... Uh, look, how yeah. can I turn that Are you down? single? Yes. Oh. I, I think... Ooh. <laughs> hey, I'm not a what would you call it? The skinny mini with double D's. Oh, he didn't say that. <laughs> well, he kind of. And did. I have tattoos, which he probably doesn't like. Uh, he might be into tattoos. Yeah, but your tattoos are cool. They are. Your they tattoos are. are very, very cool. I think that that would be very good. And and obviously, and now now you now listen. Uh, you, you're you, one thing. You all you are honest, Meg, but you're also tough. You're a tough lady. You have tough to be. Nails, yeah. You have to be tough in your you profession. You have to be fair and so balanced. I'm going to look at you in you the eye. Tone it down. I want no. Just I, not tone it down as my. Yeah, maybe a little nicer. Okay. Yeah. Be nice. I mean. You know, just so you know, just so he can feel not totally no, attacked. You're in intimidating. Uh, you know, she's intimidating. She, well, it's a pretty woman, but, but she's also very kind. You, one of the kindest people I've met. A very yes. a, a person that I. Uh, she's a new friend of Carla's and mine, and we we like her a How lot. How about this? Yes. Would would Josh have to know she's in law enforcement? Josh? Josh, Josh. not Josh. I'm sorry. Would Todd... What were you thinking mm. about? Wow. Wow. I am a gay American. Wow. Would Todd have That's to know? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Who had suddenly this sexually charged environment? Josh. And it's like, Josh, are Come you talking about our... my audio <laughs> You missed your boyfriend. <laughs> Sometimes. Josh. My uh, mind is just elsewhere. Are you talking about our intern, Josh? <laughs> I j it was a total misspeak. I don't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but would Todd have to know she's in law enforcement? Because that might make him less intimidated. Josh, this is how I Less intimidated? This is Wait, how I not knowing? Show. Yeah, I'm if you didn't sorry, know you were a cop. I'm oh, yeah. sorry. That is an intimidating factor. <laughs> Oscar's getting me. I'm Josh, sorry. I lost my Carrie's head. going away this weekend. Let's shave our heads. Let's shave Come our, over, Josh. Oh, Let's shave our heads. Oh, oh, five stop guys. it. I'm too tired today. I'm going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> stop it. I think you're going to be fine. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Officer. Hi, Josh. <laughs> It's Rob. I have some boxes I need you to bring up to the attic. <laughs> Shirtless. I'll follow you up to the attic. I'm already in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> no, All but right. what if Todd didn't know she was in law enforcement? Maybe he would be less intimidated. Todd <laughs> listens to this show. Yeah. Yeah. Todd, yeah, but maybe he can forget. Todd And Todd's <laughs> especially going to listen to this show. Yeah, you're right. You're now, right. They and listen live. They're probably watching right I now. I like Todd. I want to do well. Todd is a... Gr I really... I like Todd more a lot. He is a wonderful guy. He is a brilliant guy, mm -hmm. and he's just... the. The whole approach to coming on, it was doomed from the beginning, and we didn't have to, we, it didn't require any assistance from us. Tough he, room. He came in with it all was the a doom room. on a piece of paper. It, it's a tough room like it's a tough, it's a tough room. room for anybody. Yeah. Yep. And I think the idea of uh, a soft touch, a little, di well, she doesn't have to have the soft touch, just a dialogue between Meg and Todd, and, uh, you know, with, with you know, what's that one? Oh, she, when it's, like, because she has all this training, Officer Meg can actually tell. You really stop me when you. Well, <gasps> yeah, because she can actually tell, when she's actually talking to Perp out there on the on the street oh, i can tell if he's lying he can tell if he's lying i'm the human lie detector yeah she has those skills yeah. him in a room <laughs> oh <laughs> there you go I, I, oh my god that i think that's put a him great in a idea. room with one naked let, light bulb all right what we're gonna do we're, we'll let this percolate okay percolate. and and then we're going away and because that's the raw week mm -hmm. that we're going when we come back that week the week that we come back top right. of the list Coordinate your schedules. We will get Tomo, and we will get Officer Meg in here. <laughs> that gives him I'll time wear for a dress, and <laughs> that gives him time for sensitivity training. <laughs> that, 
<laughs> it should be amazing. Gives Rob time for uh, more time with John. <laughs> right? No, I you weren't going to fingers crossed. That. Oh my God, I love it. I truly love it. All right, so we will do that. Uh, get to your friend Todd, my coordinate. friend as well. Yeah. How how upset was he? Was he? He's not uh, really upset, is he? I don't. He was. He's he was, sensitive. I went. I actually How went many, to his uh, home afterwards, and I could tell he was. He had like a, he was beat down. Mm-hmm. How it's many like, reality TV show appearances did he cancel based on? <laughs> yeah. it? No, because again, you're not helping him. You're he, not helping. He him. I'm his to, biggest fan. He Mike. wanted to be as sincere as possible, really? and unfortunately, he was a little too honest. Now you're not right. helping him, right? Because you really shouldn't say what he did was sincerity. The best, the most help he got is when Meg said he was playing it up for a room full of guys. Yeah, yeah, he was probably just doing shtick. Yeah, and Meg, uh, you'll have plenty Let's of time that. to, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe review the segment, come up with some questions as far. And I, I want, you know, what I want really is I want everybody to be honest. Yeah. You know, and I'd like Todd to be honest. Instead of like going to clinical, because it is as guys we put up those defense mechanisms mm-hmm. where we want to appear kind of clinical about mm-hmm. this. When in this fact, you know, the fact is loneliness is loneliness. Yeah, if, if you it, don't find that perfect person, even if you're doing one night stands, it's not the same thing as having somebody in your life. You've got to be open. You have to be honest. If you love your intern Josh, you must say hello, Josh, even when you don't want to. Oh, say yeah. right. yeah. I'd like to tell the story, ladies and gentlemen, about a a guy that was in his forties. Yes. In his 40s a long time ago. Mm. Oh, guy that was out story. there had just gone through a second painful marriage experience. Mm. Yeah. Out there alone. Sad. Lonely. Sad, right? He had his requirements also. Well, only one real requirement. She can't be bat s crazy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was and, me. And, and then Carla found- came into your life? And now I'm putting together yeah. baby furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Just not very yeah. well. Oh, my God. Hey, Fisher Price. Lick it. Not a fan? <laughs> because for years you liked Fisher but hated Price. You know, when you're talking about an infant, you're not talking about you know a, a little seat for an infant. Yeah. It should not be that complicated. It should not have that many uh, bells and whistles and pulleys and stuff like is that. Is this a toy seat or is this like a car seat? It's a, it's a, great, it's a great product. Great. Uh, sent by a listener. Great. Which blows me out of the water. And we sit, we sat there and you have, it's got a little electronic yeah. thing that plays music and it's supposed to sort of did soothe you, the baby. Did you and check the batteries? I, I put the batteries in. I'm just talking the right about way? The, the process yeah. of putting it together. It was Unfortunately, like, Oscar, it only plays Skrillex. It was like, a, it was like a Japanese stereo cabinet. Yeah. It was impossible to put together. <laughs> and you know what? You're not even to the point yet where you have to like go to the fire department and have them put in the car seats and stuff. Really? Oh, that's a hassle. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's right. Cause you, you know what? You, there's Actually, no way a human being can put in a car seat right. Really? Bring, bring your car to the station with the car seat, and we'll get it in your car. At this really? Place. Yeah, we have some officers that are trained. I'm looking, that is, that is like a Christmas you. day. I'm right looking there. forward to all that because I'm 53, soon to be 54. <laughs> yeah, should be fantastic. You'll want to get it to the police station before your nap time. Mike. I've got uh, I've got the other seat to put together. Hey, the crib was taken care of by Carla's grandfather. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. God, because that we, was going to result in a, a loud crash in the middle of the night. I seriously, when I see him, I am I, I don't know what I'm going to do for the guy, but uh, Ernie, I owe you big time. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we're getting down to the wire here. Had uh, the OBGYN appointment yesterday. How'd you? Do. Met the uh, <laughs> met the. <laughs> I my my stomach measurements were larger than Carlos. <laughs> well, you're coming along. I'm not exaggerating. They're both uh, do. Yeah, absolutely. And, do. But we met the uh, we met the last doctor, and uh, there's a practice of I believe there are three of them, right? And every one of them is like ultra cool, oh, like great. fantastic, confidence the, inspiring individuals. Do they do the thing where? Always one is on call, so you're not yep. sure who is going to be delivering not, the that's, baby, that's why but it's ha- going to be one of them. That's why you have to meet all of them. Right. And uh, Mama got the little pain lecture about the pain medication, which she's cool with. Carla has. The, Carla will be opting for the uh, the pain free approach. Really? Epidural? Yeah. Yeah. She'll be starting. A, we're going to start her on a course of Quaaludes uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> Hardest part is finding something that hasn't been manufactured in 30 years. But other than that, you're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Quaaludes. <laughs> used to have a lot of Quaaludes at American University in those days. Didn't yeah. you have a you the minor co-eds in, used to stagger around with them? Yeah. <laughs> you minored in Quaaludes. Never had a Quaaludes. Ludes. I wasn't in. I just used to observe them. Yeah. Uh, but she's very she's very excited about it. The doctors are all competent. And, Do they uh, foresee a natural Natural delivery? Uh, it's going to be natural. Cool. It's going to be natural with uh, you know some uh, modern medicine. Are you going to handy cam that thing? Uh, no. You mean like why? You know, yeah, everyone has a video. Oh, of, you got to have like, the video. Shoot the hole. My yeah. parents don't that. shoot the hole. I'm not shooting the hole. What Ugh. you do is you set up a GoPro. tripod. You set up a, an eye uh, like a tripod 
from her perspective. Right. So you see the curtain. Oh, yeah. That's how I shot both oh, my that's kids. That's great. That's and, smart. and so you don't have anything. As a matter of fact, both my kids have seen their birth. There's nothing I can't show really? them. Really? Except it just looks like grape jelly and cream cheese. Well, the good oh. thing is. Oh. <laughs> that's nasty. Good night, America. But uh, hey, the, the good thing about this is that. Uh, they cleared Carla on the right kind of medication. Good. And they cleared me to come into the delivery room, and I got to get to bring the special thing I wanted to bring into the uh, delivery room. Oh, what is that? Motorcycle helmet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll take For everybody. For everybody. <laughs> we'll take a break, and we'll come back with news you may not need. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. Welcome back to the Black O'Barrow Show, everybody. How y'all doing? We're here with uh, Officer Beg. Beg, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to going on that ride along. Uh, Oscar Santana, make sure you tell Todd Moore everything's a OK. I'll let him know. I just found out Todd Moore was in the chat room. Ah, uh, look at him. Yeah, did he say anything in particular? He, he was uh, he was implying he wanted to date Meg. Oh, he, he sorry, wrote, he, he doesn't fit my. He wrote hashtag oh! date Meg. Oh, oh, really? Okay, you know what? You two, I, I, look, now I'm going to have to referee. We're going to be fine. I, 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 this well, they, could be the start of something. Uh-oh. I really believe that. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to all be positive. Great. I'm going to make sure that it's great. Perfect. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get to the news. <laughs> From around the globe, across the nation, looking through your neighbor's window, the Mike O'Mara Show now presents news you may not need. A comprehensive look at the stories you may or may not be talking about during your daily activity. And now, news you may not need. Brought to you by Personal Capital. Two things suck about managing your money. The first thing that sucks is it's hard to keep track of it. you got uh, stocks, bonds, 401Ks, IRAs, DRAs, whatever the hell they are. Everything. Bank accounts, everything, all on different sites with their own username and password. Then, the second crappy thing, you have to pay someone to manage it. And you're probably paying too much. That's why you will love Personal Capital. It takes under a minute. I mean this. You have done it. I have done it. It's great. Uh, it is really great, Rob. You can go in under a minute. You can get your whole net worth. I found out that I was worth... Eleven dollars and forty-seven cents. That's excellent. I just broke even. There you go. You're <laughs> up. I'm at zero. You can really do this though. Seriously, in under a minute, you see your whole net worth, how each asset is performing on screen. You can do it on your computer, on your computer, or the app on your phone. Then it shows you how much you're paying money managers and brokers and fees, and how you can reduce those fees. It even will give you at Personal Capital specific areas where you can improve your investment strategy. The thing is really a smart way to make your money grow quicker and it's run by the former ceo of P paypal it's totally free it's funny when i try to read my own writing isn't it i think it's fine uh to sign up for free go to personalcapital.com slash tmos or go to michaelmarishow.com and click the personal capital banner it is free they give you a nice little email after you uh set it up and uh it's one touch uh shopping it's different test spin. what's so great is that it's intuitive once you look at it i use it on the ipad you yeah. fly around with your finger mm -hmm. it's wonderful it's so easy go to the capital banner uh personal capital at michaelmarishow.com we thank you in advance let me hit this one more time Please. And you know what this tells me? From around the globe, across the nation, looking through your... My favorite is when you go, and now. Mike O'Mara Show now presents right. news you may not need. A couple of people say they like this. At the stories you may or may not be talking about Here during your daily activity. Yeah, whatever. And now, right. news you may not need. And now... <laughs> Two people actually told me they liked that intro, so I played it twice for him today. It was, and the people were Mark and myself. Exactly. All ah. requests Thursday. <laughs> New York City My Mayor Michael Bloomberg is the latest high-profile target of a poison-tainted letter. Oh, no. Sent, th <laughs> sent through the mail, police revealed yesterday. <laughs> the leader yes. of the nation's largest city was threatened anonymously. This isn't funny. Uh, it, one of those ricin letters again. Yeah. Black child. Uh, they were sent to Bloomberg's offices in Manhattan and Washington. Uh, the writer in the letters threatened Mayor Bloomberg, along with uh, another letter, letter that was sent to a uh, spokesperson for uh, the gun control stuff that he in, uh, that he endorses. Uh, it's the mayors that are, that I put. Remember, he he went on his campaign and actually had all these mayors. Right. Uh, get out there and say that we want uh, better gun control laws. Yeah, one of the letters was sent to Manhattan, another one was sent to Washington, and the writer in the letters threatened Mayor Bloomberg with references to the debate on gun laws. Yeah. That's according to uh, NYPD spokesperson Paul Brown. So it seems that uh, both these incidents with ricin have come from homegrown people that are a little out there. And, and I wasn't aware that ricin is essentially just a ground-up berry. 
And yeah. so it is something that people can manufacture themselves. Scary. Of all the terrorism and stuff that's out there, this, using the mail, is mm-hmm. so scary because it seems that it's still not monitored. You can just drop an envelope in any mailbox. And, and there seems to be a radical right element uh, that's all doing this. That's, yeah, uh, that's it. where it seems I to do be not coming like from. It. We'll keep tabs on it. Claims for unemployment benefits rose last week, signaling the job market could be a bit softer ahead of next week's hey. much-anticipated jobs report. <laughs> About three hundred nice job market. Three hundred fifty-four thousand people filed for their first week of unemployment benefits last week, according to seasonally adjusted figures from the Labor Department. That's ten thousand more initial claims than in the prior week, and it's also a bit higher than economists had uh, expected. I just know there's less employees around here. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but we're uh, we're hanging in there. <laughs> we're Rob. doing the best we can. Hey, <laughs> Oscar, you like this one? Yes. Mo- Motorola's next flagship phone won't only have sensors that will let you know when you're uh, going to take a photo or when it's in your pocket, but it'll be the first smartphone that actually uh, is assembled in the United States. I saw that story. It's have pretty you- exciting. Finally, something. Have you seen the phone? Have you- I haven't seen the breakdown of the phone, but you should also know that it's made of wood. <laughs> think about the phones you see today, right. With the new Samsungs that are just beautiful. The iPhone, I think, at this point is just kind of playing catch up uh, and we talk about this on tech 401 that the more players that come into the space right and that really kind of evolve what is our mobile life the better it's uh, well, sure have, yeah what is an oled screen it's an organic uh, led so it's gonna be a skinnier and brighter screen the phone is called the moto x when you say uh, when you say that apple is playing catch up do you think they really dropped the ball when they kept the screen so small on the five uh, i think that there's a lot of things that the samsung s4 has and all these new phones have that Apple could have easily incorporated like the bigger screens. Yeah. They, they just they have this playbook that they've been sticking to that hopefully uh, they'll evolve from soon. Dennis Woodside is the jefe at uh, Motorola. He says it will have uh, it'll have a longer battery life and sensors on it that will allow it to know when you are using it. Well, don't, isn't that like a button? Well, yeah, but I think I think they're talking about like pocket calls and stuff. I yeah. know. I just I just the, the longer battery life. That's a game winner right there. You're Absolutely. the king of uh, butt dials, by the way. Uh, really? Yes. That scares me. You call Mike O'Mara's ass is calling. I, if I know, this is what I know. When I talk to you, if you call me I, within like 15 minutes, you'll call me back, and every time I pick up, it's you just rustling around or walking around somewhere. I've gotten those somewhere. before. Yeah, that's what you do. Do I ever say anything bad? No. I, know, I, don't, I hang up. I'm not that guy that's going to sit there and listen. One time right. I did get, I saw that I had a voicemail from you, and I listened to it. It was you trying to do a conference call with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's not picking up. Harumph, harumph, harumph. He never picks up his phone. But that shouldn't bother you, Rob, because you never do pick up your phone. No, and we had a lovely spe- We had a lovely conversation this morning. Yeah, you know when I left you your text message? When was that? 10 o'clock last night. I was asleep. <laughs> Nappy poo. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's graduation season. My daughter's graduating next week, uh, the same day of the ride, as a matter of fact. And all sorts of these kids are waiting for their gift. They have the hands out. Uh, so how much are people giving out for graduation <gasps> gifts these days? Uh-oh. An online coupon site, this site is called Retail Me Not. I've heard of it. They asked uh, people the appropriate amount to give. And I uh, guess. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, because high, I rem- high school graduation. What do you guess for that? I remember I graduated high school in 89. Most gifts were around 25. Right. And four years later for college, most gifts were around 50. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to adjust for inflation. I'll say 50. Uh, oh, Hunsky. These yeah, are, these, yeah, 100 they, you guys are closer. High school graduation, I don't know how they get this number. $111. That's yeah. too much. That must be an average. Random. Yeah, yeah. Now, is, now, this is obviously for friends and family members, right. not necessarily the, in the friend, not the father. Right. I think no. it's a little different rule for I'm, that. I'm going to send a card. Right. For the father, it's like 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. $111. That's all right. It's my only daughter. That's right. Uh, I, Hold you, on. you have a couple of them. Well, I mean, it's my only daughter oh. graduating high school oh. this year. Thank Freudian you. Slip. Hey. College graduation, $243. Wow. And graduate. Uh, graduate. <laughs> graduate. <laughs> I graduate. Can you tell I've had a long day already? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, graduate school graduation, $256. Wow, Ooh. that's a lot of money. The uh, survey also found the average undergrad now finishes school with around $14,000 debt. That's wow. your luck. I remember coming out of college, and my parents paid for most of my education. I was lucky. But for the fifth year, I had to take care of it. Well, you know, it's frustrating, and uh, I help your grad out if you yeah, get an yeah, opportunity yeah. to. Take Rob, all what do we say about DJs? DJs are... Stupid! No, they're another thing. Lazy! That's right, Rob, and Americans... Stupid and lazy! Stupid and lazy. <laughs> American laziness. That's the subject of this story. Hard to defend. Uh, this one is incredible. Apparently, ready-made popcorn is seeing a huge sales growth in the U.S. Oh, my God. Because we have become so lazy that we think microwaving a bag of popcorn is too much work. Who has 70 seconds? (laughs) 
in the past year, microwave popcorn has grown 0.84%. Popcorn that's already popped has grown 11.9%. This is why the rest of the world hates us. <laughs> Americans, uh, according to a survey, love ready-made popcorn because, quote, you don't have to take the extra step of opening the box, opening the wrapper, and hoping you have the skill to watch it and not ruin it. Yeah. You know, it is hard. It is very hard to pop popcorn in the microwave when one of your fingers is jammed up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin Bieber may have a love child after all. What? That's it. I don't give a rat's ass. Oh, I was going to cover that tomorrow. Uh, you, okay, so oh, good. For more tomorrow. on that in and see. detail. That's the way it works. Yep. Justin Bieber. I will wrap it up, Rob. I'm okay. doing the best yeah, I can. Yeah, wrap it up. All right, are you ready? Uh, now we have... Oh, and I didn't do this. <laughs> oh, this thing. Thank you. We were supposed to change it anyway. Uh, we're and, trying to find just the right one. And now a little something, something, something. I like this. On Monday night, a 25-year-old man in Albuquerque, New Mexico, was driving drunk. 21-year-old Natasha Carroll was with him. We're not sure what their relationship is, but we're guessing it's over after this. You see, the man drove his SUV, and uh, Natasha was on his lap having full-on relations Ooh. with him. Oh. The combo of being drunk and uh, getting it on seems like it was too much for Lou, uh, for this guy, and he ran uh, a red light and slammed into a car. The crash flung Natasha out of the car as she was laying there in the street, bottomless oh, and no. bleeding. Oh. Sounds like one of your shifts, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, this is what Mike is hoping for on the ride along. The man made a run for Are it. these your panties? He took off <laughs> naked. And he hid behind a cactus. When the cops finally got there, they found him behind Ouch. the cactus trying to pull a pair of black shorts that were inside out back up over his private area. They also found a half-finished bottle of vodka in his SUV. He was arrested, charged with drunk driving, reckless driving, and evading police. Natasha was taken to a hospital where she is recovering. Police identified the man as Oscar Santana. Oh, oh, I don't drink and drive. Yeah. He would never be that close to a cactus again. Uh, yeah, it's vodka, too. You know, I threw that in there. We'll take a break. Come back with The Vault with Rob Spiewak right after. After this. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. You guys ready for uh, Thursday night next week? Ready. It's this tonight. Week. Oh, that, tonight. Is, is it tonight? Yeah. It's tonight. I, I'm say, I've had a long day. I know you have. We're okay. going to work on Mike reading 787 things like at this body part of the show. Okay. Because I'm getting a little over. Can I do the read? It. Yes, you do the read. Oh, Here. no. Here we go. No, 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 Mike. Here you go. You're Give never tired time. enough that Oscar should do the I'm read. I'm sorry. Here we're, we go. Uh, look, the bottom, step up to the, plate. the bottom line is one of these reads has to be done by someone. Okay. You're doing the audio vault. We uh, delegate the responsibility to Mr. Santana. <laughs> and now, here's Oscar to tell you about Quench for Knowledge. Amigos, tonight <laughs> at Quench in Rockville, Maryland, an event for everybody. You had to do a little quicker than that, Oscar. Oh, we'll run out of time. Oh, fine. Join Rob Spiewak and Mark Ronick tonight. With feeling, please. <laughs> oh. tonight, Fast, but with feeling. Okay. Tonight at Quench in Rockville, Maryland for America's favorite trivia game, Quench for Knowledge. It's fun, it's free, and there are five ways to win big. Five big ways to win Whatever. big. Whatever. Also, enjoy the signature cocktails. Why do we even write it? That may quench your best destination anytime. I will make a personal appearance as well to support the guys. So all three of you guys are going to be a quench not, so, yeah. not so sure we need you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you make, you make me want to ride out there and see you. The fun it's starts at 8.30 p.m. That's tonight. It's at 9712 Treville Gateway Drive in Rockville, Maryland. Let's see. On the wagon, Mark and Rob doing trivia. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I'm going to count on it. Or visit quenchnation.com. Great uh, new category tonight that's going to blow your mind. It is so funny. Will you be uh, enjoying some adult beverages as you watch our two boys perform? Why here? not? All right, very good. Look forward to see uh, everybody tonight at Rockville, Maryland. Quench for knowledge. Come on out. It's going to be great. Open up the audio vault for Thursday, May 30th, 2013. Yesterday, we talked a lot about the Liberace movie, and I was gonna, not going to play this tape, but you set it up so nice. And I think, Mike, actually, we watched some of it together, mm -hmm. and that sounds like Queens, but this is Liberace on Oprah in 1986. I saw a clip of this. I saw the video of this. And I think it's funny, or not funny haha, -ha, but just odd, that as late as 1986, Liberace was still professing his heterosexuality and talking about how he lost his virginity. This is Liberace maybe about a year, a year and a half before he passed okay. because of that unfortunate watermelon, watermelon diet. Right. Okay. We're talking today to Liberace, and you lost your virginity to... <laughs> It's May the golden soul. anniversary. That's why we brought May it up. May her soul rest in peace. May her soul. Mm. And her name was Miss Behaven. <laughs> and uh, I say in the book, you got to say it fast, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Miss 
the Haven. Now, Oscar, you had seen the Liberace movie, and that was really your introduction to Liberace. <laughs> How do you feel hearing his real voice next to the way that Michael Douglas did his voice? I think Mike O'Mara does a better impression. I agree. Than Michael Douglas. I was, agree. I was doing an impression of Liberace back in the day. You know, I was on the radio for, for you know thirty years ago, and right. I remember always doing that because he's always kind of. It's almost a combination of kind of that effeminate sound, but also just a tiny little bit of baby talk. Yeah, and also it was misbehaving, but his really name was Mister Behaving. I don't think your teeth fit, do they, Lee? <laughs> they don't, they, but they don't just fit into my head. That's I'm right. going to get Scott Thorson to get a little uh, plastic surgery show just, like, just like me. All right, back to Lee. When you say misbehaving, yeah. she was misbehaving. So, uh, <laughs> misbehaving, so you lost it to misbehaving? Oh, she used to drive me home because my brother mm -hmm. George had to work uh, until 2 o'clock in the morning. George was in the movie. So she said, well, I'll be glad to take your brother home. You know, mm -hmm. So she took me home. And we'd be riding along, and eventually she, the subject would get on SEX. It's so sad. And, it is. Uh, <laughs> and she'd get me excited. Yeah. Yeah, and she knew that she got me excited. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I thought, well, why so waste it? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> So That's, there you go. You hear Oprah. Oprah's laying down. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Oprah's not. Uh, so this it. just like Lee did. It wasn't the no. time. It wasn't the time to go. Hey, come on now. Yeah. I mean, let's tell the truth, Lee. Yeah, he was promoting a book about his fifty years in show business. <laughs> People but, didn't want to accept that he was gay. Right. They just didn't. Well, his fan base certainly did. Yeah. It, it, but the fan base was so clueless because, well, they went to Liberace shows. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. You know, I mean, we would go. I remember the first time I went to see Wayne Newton, I went on a pure joke. It was a gag. And then we ended I up. I love the fact that you can say the first time. It, you know. <laughs> <laughs> same thing the second time. I know. True enough. We went as a goo. But we, we had went, a blast. We had a great time. And but, we ended up liking the show. It was actually pretty good. But we were actually at a different level than most of the people in the room. We yeah. were watching it for a different reason and my buddy and i went down in vegas and we get all lubed up and we're all and I, that's yeah, yeah you did. Oh, hey i'm talking booze you know we're half wasted and we're sitting down there and we sit across from this wonderful family like a, a yeah. father they're a daughter, waniacs my a father a daughter and the mother and the, the daughter's like 19 and i'm like and the daughter was actually pretty attractive and they were all like waniacs yeah so we couldn't i, I wasn't going to be that rude and yeah. that cruel to mock wayne <laughs> i tipped the major d we got down right in front uh, never saw liberace though no oh, no never had the pleasure well maybe someday you can dress like him we'll get see. at least close to that Thanks, uh and you know what for the second day in a row i'm going to bring up a co-worker g oh. gordon liddy yes and i'm sad he's good Getting TV commercial work and you're not. Yeah, that's true. Have that's you seen true. his most recent ad for Gold? Uh, oh yeah, I've seen his Gold commercial, which <laughs> requires actual acting. Is it black mustache or white mustache? Oh, it's Gordon blacker than a thousand. Oh, so it's, that's ancient. That's been around for a while. Well, here's the Gold spot. I'm here to pick up Amy. She's still getting ready. <laughs> Tell me, how do you plan on supporting my granddaughter, young man? I'm only 17, sir. What? He sounds good, doesn't he? I haven't seen this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he might have dyed his mustache for oh, this one. God. Provide her with the brightest future. A home? Wrong. Gold. Gold? <laughs> it's never too early or too late to secure your future with gold. He sounds like a crazy man. Yeah, yeah you'd think he really was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All wow. right, so you go to Rhode Island and you go to a liquor store and there's a sign up that says no cats or dogs allowed. Okay. And you can accept that. Sure. But what if you have a Shetland pony? <laughs> then you're probably already drunk. Well, you bring the Shetland pony in, and the Shetland pony does what ponies do in the middle of the liquor store. Okay. Oh, Let's wow. go to the tape. It was reported that a subject had entered the establishment with a horse. It would have been a misdemeanor property damage complaint. We have people come in with dogs and other animals. Um, but this I is the first time with a horse. Um, they weren't horse. happy. I didn't think it was a big deal. And neither did anybody else, actually. Do you think you'll be bringing your pony back to that store? Not inside. He was not arrested. He was not arrested, but was required by a court of law to clean up after the pony. And I close with a comic that I enjoy very much, Jim Gaffigan, extolling the virtues of steak. I can never really be a vegetarian, though. I love steak too much. Steak's like the tuxedo of meat, isn't it? And bologna's the retarded cousin. <laughs>
Because <laughs> if you're eating steak, something special is happening. If you're eating bologna, you might be special. Yeah, you might be special, Mike. That, Mike, that is your magic audio ball. Thank you, Rob. That's it. we got to get out of here. Hey, Officer Meg, thanks so much for coming by, and we're going to see you a couple of weeks down the road. Woo! Thank hey. you for having me. With a uh, nice little uh, dual segment with Todd Moore. Yay. I'll look forward to that one. Nah. That should be special. Our show today was brought to you by Avalara. If the tax man has you confused, I'm here to tell you about Avalara. Anyone who has ever owned or worked for a business that sells products or services, you know the tax laws are crazy. Avalara can help you. Stop worrying. Talk to the experts at Avalara today. It's easy. It makes sense. And you can get started right now at salestaxrescue.com. Or you can call 800-256-3139. And uh, on the bonus hour this week. Oh, yeah, we have two to do today. We've got two to do today. The bonus hour is going to be very interesting. It's all about normalcy really what's normal what's abnormal what do we do that's abnormal who do we know that's abnormal abby normal just like in the old movie love uh, it that's on the bonus show and we'll be back with another one for you tomorrow have a great day bye-bye everybody bye. ciao ciao bye. now that the show's over don't forget to sign up for your free trial of hulu plus and start watching your favorite hit shows right now go to mikeomerashow.com and click the hulu plus banner for your extended free trial or go to hulu plus.com slash mike again click the hulu plus banner on mikeomerashow.com or go to hulu plus.com slash mike